Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of a rant because I'm just outraged by the weather. How could a hot brand, like literally a brand that's right up here, just suddenly dwindle down all the way to here? It makes no sense, none whatsoever. But before we get into things, guys, if you are not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday, and we focus on fashion and luxury. Without further ado, let's dive into my rant. It's got on my nerves, okay? Because I don't understand why they would get rid of this masterpiece. You guys know I love this bag so, so much. I have two, and I got two in the space of like literally a couple of months because once I got one, I was like, I must have more. But now they're discontinuing the Loewe puzzle bag and reintroducing the what I ordered versus what I got, AKA the puzzle edge. You know how sometimes, and I always like to say, don't fix what's not broken. There was nothing wrong with the puzzle bag, okay? They might have done a few changes because, you know, saving money and whatnot from a business perspective, like removing the feet and the D-ring, removing that little adjustment part on the strap to make the bag more comfortable, things like that. They've done that to save money. But now they've gone and changed the whole design of the bag. And in my opinion, it makes the bag look cheaper. It might just be me that thinks so, but I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the edge. I just don't like the way that it looks. And maybe it's because we are so used to seeing this and you know, the way that this is made. I love the fact that this was designed so that you can actually squish it up, fold it and put it away to travel with. And they've gone and changed that with the edge because of the way that it's been constructed. Getting rid of the puzzle bag for Loewe is like Chanel getting rid of their classic flap in my opinion, okay? Anyone that knows Loewe, the first thing that springs to mind is the puzzle bag. It is the brainchild of Jonathan Anderson. It was released in 2014. It was one of the first bags that has gained such popularity since the 1980s. That's, that, that was the last time when Loewe had a like a it bag and this became Loewe's iconic bag in 2014 when this was released. For them to now just be like, okay, we're not making it anymore and we're gonna introduce this version, which in my opinion is a lesser version of this. And this is, I think, something that really, really does bother me a lot about it. There is nothing like this on the market. You've got all these beautiful bags and a lot of them look a certain way. They look the same, same-ish. They have similarities, but there was nothing quite like the puzzle bag. The way that it's made, the intricacy behind the bag, the shape and the versatility and the ways that you can wear this bag. And if we're really honest, we're all gonna sit here and we're all gonna complain. We're all gonna hate the fact that they're getting rid of the puzzle bag. But let's be real, it's not gonna stop us from buying when that influencer has that bag or da 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 and that's the new hottest thing. Da 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 da. It's just gonna take some time to adjust, yes. In terms of why they're doing it, I do think that maybe they're trying to keep up with consumers and it takes too much time because crafting one of these gorgeous bags takes nine hours. And it's not just a case of folding and then stitching three pieces of leather together. There are different compartments to each of the bag, which takes the time that it does to create this wonderful yellow thing that I have in my hand. Editing Tiana here. I didn't just want to be a negative Nelly and completely slate the edge. There is a positive, right? And I completely forgot to mention it. It's the fact that it has the shoulder strap pad, which was originally in the first puzzles, but then they removed the D-ring and the thing because, you know, save money where you can, obviously, as a business, smart move. It is sad and, and I really, I hate when brands do that. Cut back on things because of the cost but the reasons why these brands are able to phase out certain items or to get rid of certain things on certain bags is because they know us as consumers aren't going anywhere we're still gonna buy these things because when it's the hottest thing we must have it and that is the reason why brands are able to do what they're doing because we give them the power to do so. When Chanel puts up their prices, the reason why they know they can is because at the end of the day, we're still gonna shop in Chanel. <laughs> okay, not me, but a majority of us that can afford it are still gonna shop in Chanel. I think if they knew that they were going to lose a client base based on their decisions, it's a completely different story and it's a business move that they wouldn't make. But because they know that us as consumers, we're always, we, 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 we're just never going anywhere, okay? 
there might be the odd few of us here and there that are like, no, that's it, that's it, I'm never ever buying anything again. But majority of people will, will they'll buy an edge once the puzzle is phased out. This Fulaweve is their iconic bag. This is the bag that you think of when you think of Loewe. This is their craftsmanship, which is their whole ethos. And there's a whole section of their craftsmanship and dedicated to their craftsmanship on their website. So from my point of view, it doesn't make any sense as to why they would take away a bag that shows their craftsmanship and replace it with a lesser version. Other than the fact that they're just trying to cut costs. They're trying to cut costs. They're probably trying to produce more bags so that they could sell more bags. The LVMH group can. They can do whatever they want and we will still come running, rain or shine. It does make me question resale prices. You know, I can see them going up a little bit more on the resale market, especially as they become more scarce because, you know, everyone's going to want one of these bad boys. So that's why I say get one, get your hands on one if you can. Mine were both pre-loved. So that's definitely a route that I would go down now and start hunting for one now before, you know, prices start rising because you, you can't get them in store anymore. Another interesting thing that could potentially happen, maybe, we don't know. But imagine if it becomes like the Birkin for Loewe. So the puzzle bag will now be a limited edition that they release every once in a blue moon and only a set amount of clients can get their hands on it because it seems like, yeah, you know, brands are trying to become less accessible to people. It was funny, right? Because the first time I ever saw The Edge, I kid you not, I looked at it and I was like, what's wrong with this bag? Why does it look? Why does it look like that? Unbeknown that they had actually released the edge. Like I, I knew nothing about the edge, okay? And the lady's like, oh no, no, this is our new, our new release. It's the puzzle edge. So it's a little bit different to the original puzzle. And I was like, oh, oh, I don't, I, I don't like it. Uh, and I put it back. I really, really didn't like it. I don't like the fact that this panel is just one panel going forward and then you've got the top. And it's just not, mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, like I said, you know, this little bag right over here has nine separate pieces that they have to work on and, and it takes nine hours to make. So obviously, you know, they're going to want to cut costs and they want to save money where they can. So why not get rid of their most iconic bag? You know, at the end of the day, it's just going to be a few people complaining and da 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 da. But eventually we'll all move on. I just don't understand why Loewe would do it now because I feel like Loewe has peaked. <laughs> You know, like every single year there's a brand that just suddenly, and Loewe's having that moment this year. It's definitely been something that since I would say the beginning towards the end of last year, middle of last year, but like now it's definitely at its peak and for them to be like, okay, we're completely removing this iconic bag, that I do find crazy because you think they would capitalize on on, on the fact that they're really at the moment, they're, the, they're one of the hottest luxury brands and for them to be like, okay, yeah, no, we're pulling out our most iconic piece, you know, the piece that probably majority of people want to buy. Yeah, that to me is just, it's crazy. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see where it goes. I'm curious to see if any limited editions eventually start coming out and they start doing that whole certain clients will be allowed to buy their iconic puzzle bag because now it's special and you know, they don't make a lot of them anymore. There's so many different avenues that they could take and we just don't know. We literally just have to wait and see what happens. And back to the craftsmanship of things, you know, there's an intricacy to this bag that not a lot of other bags have and I think that's definitely one of the reasons why people have fallen in love with the puzzle. When we look at the edge, it's just three panels that have just been put together, you know, stitched up here and there. Bob's your uncle, you've got a new puzzle, knockoff version of the original puzzle and they cost the same price. Please tell me how <laughs> They are charging the same price as these bad boys for a bag that takes less time and effort to make. Please make it make sense. <laughs> Nothing can replace that beautiful bag right there. That's my little rant over. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week and I shall catch you in Saturday's video. Take care. Bye.